Hey everyone, so today we're going to be taking a look at a project that I'm currently doing. Um, I'm doing this scene uh, animation for a beer can company here in Denmark. And uh, so I cannot show you the label of the beer yet because the project is still ongoing. But the client wanted to have me illustrating like soap bubbles. Um, around this this beer and um yeah the reason is is found in the label but yeah um and i just uh, needed to come up with ideas on how 3d could help um showcase this brand in another way so i wanted to create a highly realistic soap bubbles floating around animating and doing cool stuff uh, within a space of this uh, beer can here. So um, today I'm going to show you how I set up the particle system and um, yeah just to show you a really cool way that you can bend um, the particle system within Blender to your will and uh, yeah so this could have been done also with geometry nodes. I have seen other do it uh, with geometry nodes um, and it might also be more flexible and easier to deal with but I just wanted to show you that for a simple scene and you know just for a simple idea the particle system within Blender is totally fine and and actually quite fun to play around with so um, yeah let us just dive straight in um, I had this scene here and uh, as you can see here uh, and as you saw uh, in the beginning of the video we're going to make a kind of trail of particles follow a curve um, like in an animation. So if I close this one, which is the final render, um, you can see here we have the scene set up. So what I wanted to do with you guys today is to show you how we can make these particles follow a curve. So if I play this one through and rotate a bit around, you can see we have this curve here which our particles are, are following nicely here. And uh, yeah, it's just a really cool animation. And if you add an interesting camera to it, um, yeah, it, it can function as one of the, one of the small scenes within a, a smaller animation video or something. So how are we going to make this? So uh, I'm just going to, to make this from scratch with you just to show you how it's how this scene was done. So I'm going to hide all of this and um, yeah, we're going to start by adding a plane and uh, then we're going to be adding a particle system to this plane. And as you can see here, we have these particles instance in, on, uh, on our plane here. So we're going to be rotating this 90 degrees. And as you can see here, I can just go over to the on the view here. When I play this one through, you can see we have these particles following down here. So we want to have these particles here, instead of going just straight down, we want them to follow something, have a kind of guidance to it. So we're going to do this by creating a, just going up to top view here, by creating a curve, and we're just going to be adding a base here, curve here. And I'm going to scale it up so you can see what we are doing. And let us just, yeah, let us just play just a bit with this one, just down a bit more. And maybe we can just rotate this even more. And yeah, you can play around with this yourself. And uh, we're just going to be rotating it. Just so it fits right in here. So now you can see we have these, um, this trail here. And um, when I play this one, it's, nothing has happened. It's because we didn't apply any rules to this curve here. So I'm just going to bump up the resolution of the curve. And I am going to apply a physics prop property to the curve. And I'm going to be adding a force field. And instead of force, I'm going to set it to curve guide. And this way we we have like this curve acting as a guide with 
zero here to, to one here. And um, hopefully our particles are going to follow this curve nicely. Um, so if you go down here, you can see, yeah, you can see they are kind of going that way. And if we go up to the top view here, you can see that you can see that they are following this curve nicely. So it's actually quite easy. And uh, if I go down to this view here again, we can, yeah, make it a bit more interesting. So what I did was I just added a, I did with like a UV sphere, but you can just add a cube here, apply the scale, and then we're going to play around with the particle images here. So down here under the, uh, just go up here. So under the um, render settings here, instead of halo, we're going to set it to object and we're going to pick our sphere here. So what you can see here is now we have our icospheres instead and we can, you know, bump up the scale of them if we want that, a bit too much, <laughs> like this. And we can also play with the random scale of, of these icosphere here. Um, so as you can see here, it's just also kind of cool effect here. And um, yeah, you can also take this one down a bit more so that they are more closely within line. If I if I scroll this one down, I can also do it the other way around. If I take a minimum distance and just scale it way down here, you can see that we kind of have them following this curves really nicely here. A random scale and, and just a bit smaller also. So, but, but now it's going quite fast, you might think, and we can also deal with this if we go into the emission and also under the lifetime, we can bump this up to, let's say 200. And if I play it back, you can see it's going much more slower here, much more slower. And we might, you know, not have that many instances, you know, like this. Looks pretty nice. So yeah, this is basically the way that I did it and just, and I just made the curve go around the can and I added a bubble shader to the, to the, um, to the spheres and played with the time and also the camera rotating and the materials of the can. Yeah. So from here on it's more of a artistic choice and creative choice. So, but I just want to show you that you can play around with particles in more ways than you think. Um, we could also add a turbulence within this or, or something like this so that we had even like more wiggling and, you know, more interesting animations, but, but for the, um, bubbles, I, I just wanted a kind of smooth flowy uh, waviness to it. So but yeah, this is all for today. So. And remember that you can access my project blend, blend, fly, blend file at my Patreon. So um, I would highly appreciate if you can afford to go and support me there. You will get the can and my particular setup with the bubble shaders. And yeah, I think you will get a lot of value from, from that file also. But, um, but you can also make your own particles curve guiding files and projects uh, yourself just just play around with the settings over here and and add different curves and you know make it interesting so hope to see you next and uh yeah see ya